overwhelmed with the construction in downtown Madison this summer, you are not alone. It's a story, of course, we first brought you in the springtime. Mm -hmm. But the concern is growing now that we're in summer, especially for the businesses on Gorham Street. News 3's Jennifer Cleasy is finding some who are struggling to maintain a customer base. Through the whole summer, it's continued to be uh, a real problem. The impact of area construction could literally be felt under your feet. When they were um, first uh, cutting into the road, um, it would actually shake the building and uh, we would have bottles shake. And it's been hard for businesses in the Gorham Street area like Riley's Wines of the World. It's difficult to get here, so I mean, um, people get very frustrated. Manager Patrick Ducey says Riley's and nearby businesses are struggling to maintain their customer base. We've definitely seen a, a drop in dollar sales and, and that's been, you know, that's, that's difficult. It's just um, making sure that people know we're still here. The Gorham Street project started in March and the city expects to complete it by mid-September. The pavement on these streets were, it was in horrendous shape and uh, so that, that required the project to, you know, to get moving. I would hope that, you know, perhaps this experience they can use and sort of maybe scale back things so that they don't damage businesses as much as possible. It looks kind of intense this year, but that was at a goal of, of hopefully not having to come back next year and, and do a lot more work. But Ducey remains frustrated and concerned. A customer said, it'll look so nice when it's done. <laughs> I had to say to her, it's a street. <laughs> it's going to look like a street and it'll, look, it'll be a great street, but it's still just a street. Jennifer Cleasy, WISC News 3. The public is invited to attend bi-weekly planning meetings to give feedback on the construction progress. And if you'd like more information on how to get around the city's construction, we've put a link to the Department of Public Works website on our website, channel3000.com.